It's like they're always at 65, 70 yards. I watched exactly where he walked and then I watched him fall. One massive bear. I was expecting a lot more than that. What a crazy turn of events. It's about to be a long night. It's day 125 of trying to kill a white tail deer. <laughs> it's the rut, and any time that Huntwise says that there's a good night to be in the woods, I can't not be in the woods. I feel so like guilty if I'm not doing what I can to be in the woods. I woke up early today. I got a bunch of work done. I'm going hunting. What do you think? <laughs> and what do you think? But for real, tonight's supposed to be a good night in the woods and I'm finally like on time if I actually, you know, get my butt moving. So, I'm dressed. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing a weird thing with solid arms. I'm not mad about it. Sitka vest. <laughs> ASAP pants. Barbell is still set up from yesterday. I was doing deadlifts. Wonderful. So, I lied and I switched to my Sitka jacket because it actually is a lot colder outside than it looks. So I have my grunt tube, whoa, already in here. I'm gonna slide my GoPro up top because that'll attach to like my tether knife headlamp. And my other pack still smells like bear fat. So um, bring in this big old pack. I have three tethered one sticks on there, one muddy stick. Uh, my platform's inside. I'm gonna pull a Nick move tonight and I'm going to wear my saddle into the woods. I definitely have done this before, but for whatever reason, it's not like something that I typically do nowadays. I guess not so bad. The wind is good for this spot until the five o'clock hour at 5 p.m. It says it literally goes the exact opposite way that it's blowing all night, which is just so weird. It's random and it's really not great, but the sun sets at 5 p.m. So it would be the last 30 minutes, which of course is always like some of the best time, but I, I don't think it'll be an issue, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. This doesn't feel so bad. The bow is ready. We're good, dude. This is my tree. It's leaning a little bit. They were too far the other night, so I moved set up, and then they came up too far again. Just get wet. Well, climbed out, got everything attached to my pack. Time to go home and eat something. Well, good morning. 
Mm. It's probably about 6 a.m. Woke up at 5 a.m. Tried to go to bed at 9 p.m., but woke up at 1.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. I used to pretend that I was a morning person. I would tell Nick all the time that I was. And he told me I was wrong, and he's right. Today is an important day to be in the woods. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. What do you think? It's your one year anniversary. Whoa! It is! <clears throat> Today's November 12th, which is the one year anniversary of this buck. Wahoo. I could shoot a doe this morning, and I will shoot a doe this morning if, one, if I have the opportunity to try to. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it is the rut, and so there are cool looking deer like this funky fella that run around in the woods. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Last year, November 12, 13, 14, 15, I killed a buck, Matt killed a buck, Nick missed a buck, right? Mm -hmm. And it was just like bananas and ready to rock. I drank coffee, I ate an English muffin with like peanut butter and banana and syrup. It was wonderful, but anyways, let's go. So the other day I hiked in with my saddle on, and I quite enjoyed it. So I'm doing that again. The bucks are definitely on fire this morning. I think the first deer that I saw was a spike, because I couldn't see antlers, but it was moving like a buck. like swooped in. I saw him coming and he just walked at like 60 yards. I'm just not quite comfortable with 60, at least not with my current setup. But that's something I'm going to play with during the off season because I've had so many deer at like 60 to 70 yards. Nice little buck came in. Just stayed up high. It's a good sign though. He's pretty big. He might walk right to Allie. She's down there. Damn. He can't find does. Apparently there's no does in here. So this morning was really, really exciting and super cool. I saw those two deer and then Nick saw a third deer that was a buck. So it was exciting. Uh, definitely whooped me up. We just took a solid, eh, I was going to say two hour nap, but it was probably only an hour and a half. We're headed back out again. Here we go. So I just checked my camera. There was nothing good on it. One massive bear. So like, that's pretty cool. But bear season's out. I got more people on it. But I mean, it's public land, so like, you know. Can't be mad about that, but hopefully Nick's having a better night than I am. This spot is awesome. There's mountain laurel all on this side. Pretty steep down to a creek. It's relatively open, but there's so much food. Rubs everywhere. It took me way longer to get in here than I thought. Typical. I love trying new areas like this. You know, you get to see things, check things off the list. Something behind her. She's running. 
running hard. Coming behind me. Oh, he's huge. Dude, he's big as shit. My wind's going right at him. He's at like 80. He ran away. Oh man, so close. Good morning. Dude. So this morning I'm going to essentially the same spot that I went yesterday, but I moved my setup. Like when I climbed down yesterday, I climbed right back up a different tree and left my sticks in my platform. So it's set up exactly where I want it based off of where those two deer walked through. It's nice to not have to set up sticks, like they're already set up, so all I have to do is climb up in my saddle. Um, so I'll get up really quick, and then it's freaking game time. It's colder this morning. It was actually drizzling a little bit, which is weird because it feels like it's below freezing, like it should just be snowing. Um, it's probably like right on the cusp, which is good for deer movement. So I think this morning will be great. It was hard getting out of bed like it is every time. But now that I'm awake, I'm feeling more excited. You know, I don't know. Just not one of those people that wakes up like zling. Sometimes I do. This girl was partying all night last night. But she really didn't keep me up. She mostly just kept Nick up. And we haven't fed her yet, and so she, oh god, oh god, I shouldn't have even said the word. No, we'll feed you when we get back, girl. It's too early. <laughs> Love you. There it is. Maybe I'll give him a grunt here in a minute. See what he does. He's pretty big. I think I used up all my luck on that bear, which I'm totally okay with. We'll see though. That's that big forky deer. I've been seeing him like once a week. He's huge bodied, four point. I think he has a brow, which makes him legal. Pretty sure he does, but he just has weird genetics. But I'd really like to get a close look at him. If we get some does in here, this is going to be pretty intense pretty quick. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Still snowing. The snow melted and now it's starting up again. It's time for the afternoon hunt. And tonight I'm sitting in a tree stand and praying that these deer come out in the right spot. They keep playing me. They just keep coming out a little bit too far. It's like they're always at 65, 70 yards. I'm making cinnamon rolls, by the way. Okay, bye. Just tied my bow to the bow rope. About to climb up, hop in the tree stand. So Nick's bear's head and hide is in there. It's been frozen. And this right here is a wild game. Well, what? it's not a wild game scale. It's just a scale. You can use it on anything, but we use it to weigh deer. Hi, little girl.
Zero. Yep. 45.2. Oh, I thought it'd be more. Woo! Interesting. Very interesting. Basically, I'm having a bad day. For no like, majorly apparent reason. But I'm gonna go hunt, so that's what I'm doing. And, yeah. I still see him. He's still standing. Come on, lay down. Oh my god. down and walk over there and try and like mark something while it's still light out if you hit him like a little shit, just don't jump him and get him in that laurel because that's always a mess that's true i would probably just leave him just in yeah. case just give him an hour yeah. until i get back and we'll run in there okay hell yeah i'm getting down i don't even care let me see if I can see him with my rangefinder. So now that I've composed myself a little bit, um, I watched him fall, but I can't see him. I should probably get down and mark the spot where I shot him from. God, what am I doing on this? I pulled my sticks, my platform. Um, I'm gonna pack it all up in my pack. I still have to take my saddle off and then I'm gonna walk over I want to try and do this real quick maybe you know what I'm gonna leave this stuff here and I'm gonna walk over right now while I still have a little bit of light and see if I can see blood where I shot him um and maybe even if I can find my arrow I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier I'm freaking out oh my god I hope he's over there what a crazy like turn of events just like being I don't know, just like not in a good mood, just not having a good day. Hopefully I did kill that deer and he's over there. I heard the thwack, so it definitely hit him. So, all right, let's go take a look. All right, I found first blood. Although it's not a lot. I was expecting a lot more than that. I wonder if I didn't get a clean pass through and the arrow is still in him, like with my last year. But either way, I've got first blood. Blood, 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 blood. Beautiful. I see some hair right there. Okay, I will back up. Let me just look over here for a minute and see if my arrow, I don't think my arrow passed through him. Not to be expected. Okay, you guys, I think we did it, okay. okay. So I just watched the footage back again and it looks really good. I think that he died like right when he fell. Um, but I'm also glad that I didn't go push it because you can't, like you, it looks like he falls cause you see his tail fall and then you don't see him walk away after that but you can't see him on the ground and I couldn't like confirm that he was on the ground. So just in the off case that the shot was a little farther back, it's good that there's a little bit of time just in case it's liver or whatever. This will give the deer enough time to pass away without us bumping him and we'll have a successful recovery. It's so weird to be excited about killing something. This is something that I think about all of the time. Just how bizarre this emotion is that I'm excited that I killed a deer that's dead out there somewhere, hopefully. You know? I don't know. Anyways, the only reason why I'm waiting for Nick, by the way, <laughs> well, one reason because I want to like, experience it with him and I want to go try and track the deer with him because it's just it's always more fun to experience things together. Um, but also because if I went to recover that deer, 
by myself, I would need to cut it up and pack it out and make multiple trips. There's no way that I'm going to be able to drag this deer out by myself because the body on it is huge. It's a big deer. I'm so excited to weigh it. Ah! And to have it hang for the weekend. I should check the temperature. Okay, let's see. Come on, temps. Come on, temps. Be good for me, temps. Yes! Yes! So Friday, 35. Saturday, 44. Sunday, 40. Monday's 33. So the deer will be good to hang. <sighs> That's a dream. This is a dream. Oh, my God. This is about to be a long night. Look who's back. Okay, we're going to go uh, try and find this deer. I showed Nick the footage, and he feels confident, too. Um, it's just a matter of, like, actually trailing it and finding it. So, okay, back it up, girls. Be good girls. Nick's too excited, so <laughs> we're not following the blood trail. We're going to see if we can go find him. Uh where he fell. <laughs> oh my god, Nick found him already. Wait, I still haven't seen it. Wow. That's a big deer. That's really cool. Oh wow. Wow. Look where the exit wound is. That's insane. That was at a pretty like harsh angle. Wow. He's big. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's big. <laughs> I think it went through. Well, I guess it's an exit wound, but maybe it did go all the way through him. Flip him over. No, I don't see it. Good shot, though. How far was it? Uh, 30. 30. 30, right there. I love that placement. But of course, he was quartering so hard, so I probably could have put it ahead a little more. That's where I was aiming on my deer last year, too. That deer weighs more than you. I know. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it out of here without no, you. No, not a chance. I bet you he lost, I don't know, percentage-wise or pounds-wise, but quite a bit of body mass too since it's like the end of the rut you know i bet he was that hole is quite insane. a bit bigger look at that like i'm not normally into like super gory stuff like that but his broadheads have never failed me that's nuts i cannot believe it happened tonight <laughs> oh yeah he's heavy Yeah, see, look, there's like a, oh, there's a hole. I've got a pass through. You got guts. Wow. Okay, let's see. He was definitely still acting all ruddy and silly. I don't know that I even explained exactly what happened, but I heard deer crunching behind me. And then I saw him moseying on, on down, coming right towards me. I arranged a spot that was 45 that he would have walked to if he turned right. And if he would have continued straight ahead, I had a spot at 30 that I liked. Grabbed my bow. He didn't even look. Uh, my wind was going right where he was headed. So I chose a spot that was a little at, like before where my wind was. He walked to the 30 yard spot and I drew when he was maybe just like five steps before that because I figured if he was going to bust from me drawing um, I wanted him to be close enough for me to just like immediately take a shot but he didn't bust at all and I gave him a little holler and he stopped perfectly and then I released almost immediately like it was like very quick um, but I was obviously super excited and nervous but I don't feel like I was <laughs> it's like blacked out 
as I was uh, previous times. But then, of course, after it happened, I feel like I blacked out a little bit. I'll work out. So it's November, so... That. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And then 18. Notched. Now I have to fill out the front. Yeah. Sick. All right. <laughs> we have some gloves for me for the gutting process. These are always really funny. Oh, yes. They have lots of gloves. Okay. Well, I only need two these things they just remind me of, like not to sound gross but whenever you see videos of the like farmers or ranchers sticking their arms up cows butts <laughs> you know what I mean I don't know if it's like for pregnant cows so maybe it's not going up their butt maybe it's going up somewhere else or it's if it's literally like in their butt for some kind of medication or some kind of health test I don't know that's what it reminds me of though but I'll put these gloves on and then these over top. Yeah, that's what Opposite. you did. You put these on first and then these on over top. Okay. Yeah, so you have more dexterity. Okay, well let's get them into position and then I'll throw these on. See how fast I can do this. What are you throwing? I can't see. No, I don't need that. You don't want to butt out? I mean, I might need it eventually, but I don't need it right now. What a night. Watch this. Dude, nothing on me. Oh, a little bit. That's it though. And that might have been on me before I even put my gloves on. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in here as well. So we got a dirty bag, we got an organ bag, we've got the deer to drag out. <laughs> Two eggs and eggs. Just a wild Mountain buck. Mountain buck. Crazy. Nick found the arrow. Oh my god, I have so much snot. So, we made it back to the spot where I shot the deer and Nick was like, you know what? Let me just follow the blood trail and see if I can find the arrow. I was looking back where I shot him to see if it maybe had like had like ricocheted off of something after it went through him, but Nick just said he found it. So let's see. He ran in this thicket. It was probably sticking out of him like 10 inches or so. Oh wow, that is a pretty nice blood trail. Good blood. Oh yes. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think it went all the way through and it was hanging out his other side. Okay, that makes me feel much like better about just like the setup how my arrows performed how the broadhead performed everything and just tracking in general like if mm -hmm. if that deer we knew that he fell so we didn't really need to track for blood test our tracking skills or yeah. trailing skills whatever yeah. you want to call it but it's fun to track back so you know like look at this blood. yeah yeah here let's look at it this is this is way different from that bear this is positive Oh yeah, Positive like you see a blood blood. trail like this, highly oxygenated, that, that continues all the way. Bright red. You know that you did a good job, mm -hmm. and that you just need to keep following it. It's not that liver-looking shit. Yeah. It's not just like pure blood. Like yeah. Muscle blood where there's just like. Although if I did just see my arrow, I might have been like, uh, I think I just hit guts. Yeah. I mean, you follow that, and there's gonna be piles and piles of it. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm glad that you like followed that back so you can see this okay thank you oh thank you <laughs> just hold my lantern i feel so i feel so uh medieval yeah <laughs> now my arrow build video is definitely going up link will pop up now <laughs> just did an incredible job on the drag yeah. now i'm passing the torch <laughs> So, wait, what did you say? You said my butt cheeks? <laughs> my butt cheeks and my big toe. <laughs> Hurt from the drag. My big toes. <laughs>
I got gout. Gout? No. Oh, oh God, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. And then we'll clean that up later. But that is a backstrap. <laughs>